Most people think of God as that great figure in the sky with the white beard who's scrutinizing the human race from above. They see us here on earth as in some form of neutral testing ground where we're placed by God for a period and God watches from above, registering the scores on his laptop as to whether we perform according to his designs or whether we're offending him as, as it's put. An absolutely out, outrageous idea. How could we offend God, the type of God that people believe in? How could it matter so much to him? How could it above all matter that he would find it so serious a situation that he could condemn us to an eternity of suffering? These are bizarre ideas, but obviously they have a great hold on the fears and the limitations and the insecurities of people, which is why religion can play so effectively, whether deliberately or otherwise, on those insecurities. People fall into line very readily when they're threatened by these cosmic sentences of everlasting punishment. Even though a given person may have long ago thrown off the trappings of religion, they still live in the religious mold and they don't even know it. But their whole conception of how reality works is all something that has been molded by religion. So until you get that out of your system, you can't ever make a go of uh, an evolutionary perspective. The great appeal of all to people who don't want to grow up, but want the great parent in the skies looking after them, is to ask Jesus to do it for me. If only I place my trust in Jesus, he will save me from my sins and look after me and all will be well. Well, Jesus cannot eat my lunch for me and Jesus cannot be born for me and neither can Jesus save me because what we're talking about in this, in real terms, is not being saved by anyone, God or otherwise. We are talking about a personal evolution. The only reason that there is an addiction to religion is some way out of a mistake. Does that diminish the greatness of God? No, it actually opens the corral and lets God be eternal. We do not want to accept responsibility. We do not want to accept our greatness. So it's very easy for any system of thought religious or otherwise, that comes along, it's very easy to play on that, to play on our insecurities, to assure us all is well, we'll all be taken care of. We lap that up. So don't blame religion. Blame our own insecurities, which has allowed religion to flourish, and which has allowed so many systems of thought that are disempowering to flourish throughout human history. That's why we can't get out of it.